Refer to the sectorally splendid Dr. Marshall. Well, thank you, Senator Casty, and thank you, Chairman Sanders. We have to stop the hemorrhaging. We have to stop the hemorrhaging. When a patient comes to the emergency room and they're bleeding out, we don't start pumping blood into them. The first thing we have to do is stop the bleeding. Most of our solutions today seem to be pumping more blood into people. We gotta go back and, and start over. You know, the greatest healthcare mistake the NIH and CDC ever did was locking our youth out of schools, and that launched this mental health epidemic that we have, you know, irrefutable damage to our children's mental health, and I hope the CDC will own that someday. And instead of our children talking to their, their friends, their colleagues, their teachers, their coaches, they talked to social media. That became uh, their best friend. So how do we stop that hemorrhaging? I think we have to go back and, and think about, um, I look at social media today as worse than pornography. My young son, sons were exposed to pornography when they were very young because of social media. And I think the, the additive pressures coming from social media today are worse than pornography. And just like we had to set parameters around pornography, we need to do the same thing with social media. I wish we didn't have to. Um, I, I think we need to, to start over on what the solutions are. Uh, Dr. Murthy, would you support some type of an electronic Surgeon General's warning on a statement on mental health and, and the impact of social media? Well, thank you, Senator Marshall, and um, it's always it's good to be here with a fellow clinician as well. I know you've seen this from different angles. Um, I, I do worry about social media, as you do, and what I've tried to actually do in the advisory we just issued two weeks ago was to put in writing, clear as day, uh, what our concerning was, to war uh, concern was about social media and to issue that warning to the American public. Um, I don't think it's the last thing, though, that we need to do. I think it's a start. So, so much like when I was growing up, we put a Surgeon General's warning on tobacco, and it had an impact. I, I think when we put a Surgeon General's warning on alcohol for pregnant women, it has an impact. Are you willing to use your bully pulpit mm -hmm. and say, we need a Surgeon General's warning on what is the biggest threat to our youth right now when it comes to their health? This is the number one threat to our children's health right now. It, it's not cancer. It, it's, it's, uh, it, it's not osteoporosis, it's not a whole lot of things. This is the number one threat. Are you, you willing to use your pulpit and put your reputation on the line and say, we need a Surgeon General's warning on social media for youth? Well, Senator, I do think it would be appropriate to have a warning uh, on social media to warn parents and kids. Uh, and if Congress is willing to provide the legislative or regulatory authority to put that label on, uh, then I'd certainly be willing to partner. Does it take legislation for you to put that label on? I, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, it, it takes either legislative or regulatory authority uh, to do that. Okay. Another issue I want to talk about are, is, is fentanyl, our drug cartels, that they're selling fake Adderall that's, of course, laced with fentanyl. You're well aware of this. And they're using social media. Uh, and, of course, the top buyers are, are, are children. Senator Shaheen and I wrote legislation with leaders on the Judiciary Committee to hold social media companies accountable for illegal drug sales happening on their platforms. Does this have the support? It does have the support of the White House and the DOJ, and would love to have your continued efforts with this. Any, any comments on that? And I think I want to highlight the word you use, accountability, because there's been an utter lack of that when it comes to how we've been addressing the impact of social media on our kids. And what you mentioned, which is uh, the use, the, the platforms being used to expose our kids to drugs uh, and other harmful content is, is one example of that. So yes, I would support measures to ensure there was more accountability for the platforms. Okay, the last thing we need to do is go back and study this and form committees and pray about this. We know social media is preying on our youth. We know it as surely as alcohol causes infant uh, you know, problems for, for moms as well. We know it. it. We don't need to study this more. Mm. As black and white as you can make this, what would be your recommendations to, to stop this from happening? Watch, if, you were, if you own the social media company, why wouldn't you take the responsibility yourselves? Why does it take an act of Congress to do the right damn thing? What would you recommend that they do? Well, you what mean this company specifically? Yes. Yes. So what I laid out in the advisory are a series of recs for the tech companies specifically. One is to 
apply age-appropriate design to their platform so they're not exposing young kids to harmful content. Second is to be transparent with the health impacts and the data that they're collecting that, so that everybody can see how these platforms are impacting our kids' health. But the truth is, Senator, the social media platforms have been around for nearly 20 years. If we're gonna just rely on them uh, to fix this problem, I think yeah. we're, we're waiting for something that's not gonna happen because while they have made some efforts, uh, to put safety measures in place. It's not nearly enough and it's not happening nearly fast enough. Greed is a horrible thing. Mm -hmm. Using greed to take advantage of our youth is a horrible thing. I, I just call on the social media companies to take self-accountability and to do something about this. Don't wait for Congress to do it. They know what the right thing is to do. Mm -hmm. They are taking advantage of our youth. They're poisoning our youth. They're killing our youth. And Senator, I would just say, when you and I have practiced medicine and we've prescribed medicines to people, to patients, um, we've been able to generally tell them what the evidence is that something works or doesn't work and what the evidence is around safety. I think it's very reasonable for us to expect a company to demonstrate similar data to us so that as, a, as a parents, like we can take that into account as we make decisions for our kids on when to start using social media and whether or not to even use it.